Hello everyone, welcome to E plus PI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving an interesting equation for z. So z is a complex number, cosine z plus i sine z equals k and k is a real number. Now, where does this problem come from? This problem has been ins inspired by a great mathematician, a fellow mathematician on Twitter, Chris Jurevich. But something interesting, an interesting story about this problem, he publishes these problems on Twitter, which is great. He's a great problem solver as well. But if you look at the problem carefully, you're going to notice that it's not the same one because I misread the problem. When he published this, I looked at it and I'm like, oh, I think I'm going to make a video on this problem. And then I let him know. But the thing is, I misread the problem, so the original problem is like this. Cosine z plus sine z is equal to k, but my version, mistaken version, is this one. But turns out this is also an interesting problem, and we're going to be writing the answer in standard form per instructions at the end, which is a plus bi. So, we have this equation cosine z plus i sine z equals k, and we're going to be solving for z. So if you've seen the lecture videos, we talked about Euler's formula, we talked about trigonometric functions, how they can be written in terms of exponentials. And then one of the things we talked about was cosine of z can be written as e to the iz plus e to the negative iz divided by 2. And then the same thing can be done for sine, but this time what you have to do is you kind of need to subtract them and then uh, divide by 2i instead of 2. So it's going to look like this, e to the power iz minus e to the power negative iz divided by 2i. And of course, we can go ahead and proceed, multiply the top and the bottom by negative i or just i. A lot of times people are going to do i because it's a little easier. And then we're going to get a negative i squared, I mean i squared here, which is a negative 1. If you reflect that, you're going to get the following for sine z, i times e to the negative iz minus e to the iz divided by 2. Okay, so that's going to be the value of sine z, that's the cosine z, and how do you get to cosine z plus i sine z from here? So if you go ahead and plug it in, you're going to get the following. Cosine z is going to be e to the iz plus e to the negative iz divided by 2, and then plus i times i times this and of course when you multiply the i's they're going to give you i squared which is negative one so this is actually going to negate what's inside the parentheses and eventually we're going to get the following e to the iz plus e to the negative iz minus e to the negative iz plus e to the iz all over two and then e to the negative iz is going to cancel out we're going to get the e to the iz twice divided by two we're going to get something that looks like this. Cosine z plus i sine z equals e to the power iz. Wait a minute. Isn't this Euler's formula? Yes, it is. But we just wanted to, <laughs> we verified it one more time backwards. But this is what it is. So as soon as you see something like cosine alpha plus i sine alpha, how you write e to the i alpha, but alpha this time is being replaced by a complex number. So this is kind of like a complex number written in polar form but that also contains another complex number. Okay, so we're gonna find this number that satisfies our equation. So first of all, we established that it's equal to e to the iz because the rest is gonna be fairly easy once we know that. So now our equation is e to the iz equals k, where k is a real number. Since it wasn't specified whether k is positive or negative, I'm gonna be looking at both cases. I'm also gonna briefly talk about uh, k equals zero I hope you will agree with me on that one. So, how do we solve this equation? Easy, right? Complexify the right-hand side, and then natural log both sides, and bring down the powers, and just solve for z. That's what we got to do, right? Great, so how do you complexify the right-hand side? Well, it depends. K is a real number, but it could be positive or negative. If k is positive, it's going to appear on the right-hand side, if it's negative, it's going to appear on the left-hand side. So we're going to divide it up into two cases. First case, k is greater than 0. So let's assume for now that k is positive. And then from here, we can write the k as being something k units away. Its absolute value is also going to be itself because k is positive. 
and then uh, its angle is going to be just 2 pi or 2 pi times n, which is an integer. So here's what we can do for k then. k can be written as k times e to the power 2 pi n i. Make sense? Okay, so this represents one in many forms. And now we can go ahead and natural log both sides. And of course, k represents the uh, nat the modulus in this case, which is positive. Okay, that's important. Now, if you natural log both sides, like ln here and ln here, you're going to get the following. This is going to be the answer, iz. And then this is the ln of a product. So that's going to give you a sum of two lns, ln k plus ln e to the power of something that's just going to be 2 pi n i. Or we can write it as 2 n pi i. Same thing. Okay, so we're supposed to solve for z. Let's go ahead and divide everything by i. And if we do that, we're going to get ln k over i plus 2 n pi i over i, which is going to give us 2 n pi. Basically, by dividing by i, we're replacing uh, or kind of switching around. It's also a rotation, but it also switches the real and imaginary parts. So we can kind of write it as uh, multiply by negative i here and here. Then that's going to give you the 2 n pi, which is the real part, and then minus i times ln k. So that it was written as a plus b i, where a is equal to 2 n pi and b is equal to negative ln k. Okay? Now remember, ln k is the real uh, natural log, uh, the real ln. So k is supposed to be positive all the time. Okay? So that's the situation for k is positive. Let's go ahead and take a look for k is less than 0. Now what is the difference when k is less than 0? Then we're, our number is going to be a slightly different. Now remember, we wrote this as e to the i z equals k, but now k is on the left-hand side, so its absolute value is actually going to be negative k. Okay, so k is negative, therefore uh, we have to write, and the angle is going to be 2 uh, n plus 1 pi. In other words, odd multiples of pi, the smallest one being pi. So we're going to write k as negative k times e to the power 2n plus 1 pi i. Okay? Now notice that this represents the same thing, but with the k negative. And we're going to be doing the natural logs again, but this time it's going to be slightly different. After natural logs, we're going to get something like ln of negative k plus 2n plus 1 multiplied by pi i. And then we're going to divide by i again, and that's going to give us ln negative k Divide by i plus 2n plus 1 multiply by pi. n is an integer again. And after multiplication by negative i, we're going to get z equals 2n plus 1 times pi, which is the real part, minus i times ln of negative k. Again, k is less than 0 in this case, so ln negative k would be well defined uh, in real numbers. Make sense? What happens if k is equal to 0? In my opinion, if k is equal to 0, then we get something like cosine z plus i sine z equals 0 or e to the i z equals 0. But I don't think this equation has any solutions, even in the complex world. Therefore, we're not going to get any solutions. So let's go ahead and summarize our finding and write it all together. So our equation was cosine z plus i sine z equals k, where k is a real number and z is a complex number. And the solution set looks like this. If we have a positive k, then we get this solution. Otherwise, we get this solution if k is negative. And finally, if k is equal to 0, no solution is obtained. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.